Get the book, Align With Your Purpose, by Earl Hall. Find and walk in your purpose. Get the answers to your questions about life and how to make it exactly what you want are in this book. This is your chance to stop living in a life you hate. Discover how to manifest the life you actually want. Get Align With Your Purpose now on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. What if you could stop all of your negative thoughts and your self-limiting beliefs and actually start to manifest the life that you want? You need Quantum Neural Manifestation Alignment, or QNMA. This is the ultimate accumulation of the best of the secret, as well as the incredible magic of meditation and hypnosis, all wrapped up in one. Go to the website now, officialqnma.com. That's officialqnma.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the live broadcast this great Friday morning on Align With Your Purpose. I'm your host, Earl Hall, broadcasting live on Conversations Radio Network, as well as Instagram. I'm broadcasting live on my Instagram feed as well so they can see and hear me and give me comments and all that kind of great stuff. So thanks for tuning in this morning. Be sure that you do visit the website www.alignwithyourpurpose.co. Today I want to talk about two people that have really helped to transform my entire life that have helped to really have me make an impact in a major way. And I'm going to be talking today, not only about Abraham Hicks and Neil Donald Walsh, but I'm going to be talking about the impact that it's had on me and so many other people that really are looking to understand law of attraction and how that whole thing works, how law of attraction is really, it's there whether you know it or not. You're manifesting your own reality every single second. Whether you understand that you know you are or not, it is something that you're doing. Most of us have seen or heard about, at least, the movie The Secret. We've heard about that. We've watched it. I have the DVD. DVD, imagine that. Uh, It tells you how long ago this came out. I actually have the DVD for Law of Attraction. What most people don't actually know about the whole thing with the law of attraction, it comes from the teachings of Abraham Hicks. And if you don't know who Abraham Hicks is, basically it's a um, it's a woman, uh, very big YouTube following all over the place. If you go to YouTube and you type in Abraham Hicks, you're going to come up with all of the stuff that she has presented over two decades, I think. it's It's been a long time. Um, And longer than that, I mean, she's been around since before YouTube uh, came out. But it's the premise of The Secret was based on her teachings. The premise of The Secret was based on the teachings of Abraham Hicks. And the thing about and the funny thing about that movie, uh, The Secret, is Abraham Hicks wasn't even in the movie. Um, There was a portion where she was in the movie, but it was taken out. Basically, a lot of people feel like she got robbed in in an, in a sense uh, because she's not prominent in the movie and the movie was based on her teachings and her husband at the time he's passed away now Jerry Hicks but there's so much more to the secret than or law of attraction I should say there's so much more to the law of attraction than was in the secret one of the main things that I learned and and looking at the movie and remembering back because it's been some years since I actually watched the movie The Secret and tried to apply some of the teachings from that movie because I honestly believe that the law of attraction is real. It is. We manifest our own reality every minute of every second of the day. And one of the biggest things that I got from that, it's more than wishing. The law of attraction is so much more than wishing. And this is why Abraham Hicks has been so impactful in my life. And I literally, just about every single day, I'm listening to something from Abraham Hicks. And again, you can find them on YouTube. Just type in Abraham Hicks and you will discover everything that she has out there. Just press play and start listening and you're going to discover some great things. So it's not about just wishing for something. 
the law of attraction goes so much deeper than that. It goes into more of your your feelings about things. They talk about vibrations and vibrational waves out there. And you're always putting out a vibrational wave through your feelings. That is the wave. The feelings that you have are what's drawing things back to you. You're aligning. Your vibration is aligning with a certain frequency that your feelings are putting out. And let me explain what that means, because if you're feeling angry or upset or sad or depressed, that is the feeling, that is the vibration that you're putting out. If you're feeling happy, if you're feeling abundant, if you're feeling love and joy, that is the vibration that you're putting out. And that's what comes back to you. You see, the law of attraction is more than, you know, think it or name it and claim it. It's way more than that. It is what you are thinking and feeling. And more so importantly, it comes down to the feelings that you're having. That Those feelings that we have at, at moments, they're so hard for us to control or we think that it is. We've been conditioned a certain way because of the environments that we live in, the way we were raised, religion, politics. All these things influence our thoughts and they influence our feelings. Have you ever noticed someone that nothing is ever good? They are always complaining. Nothing is ever going right for them in their lives. And every time you talk to them, it's a drain on your energy. Because you're picking up on that frequency. That person that is always negative, that has nothing good to say, you see how their lives unfold. It's their lives are just always negative. It's like they can't do anything else. But the secret, if you want to know what the secret is, it is about changing your feelings and your thought patterns about situations that go on. Because there is... No circumstance, no situation in your life, nothing that you have going on in your life right now is outside of the frequencies that you put out. Everything, the the point in your life where you are right now, this is what we have all attracted. It's just the law. Every feeling that you put out there, the universe is fair. The law of there is nothing fairer than the law of attraction. Okay, this is what you're feeling. This is the vibration you're putting out. I will give you more of what you want because obviously this is what you want. The universe law of attraction is just fair in that manner. Now, if you really get what I'm saying about that, you can really understand how powerful your feelings are and also how much control you have over your life, how much impact and how much influence you have on every single thing that occurs in your life. If you start, if, if you get in a bad spot and I love how Abraham Hicks talks about this so much, you know, if you're already there, if you're already in a bad feeling space, it's kind of hard to, to change that. The only thing you can do is look for and try and reach for a better feeling feeling. That is all you can reach for a better feeling feeling. Now, you may say, well, how the heck do I do that? What is it that I have to do to have a better feeling feeling? Well, here's the great thing about the mind. The mind or the brain has no clue on what if what you are feeling or thinking is going on right now or has happened in the past. It has no way of measuring that. You can fool yourself into thinking better. You've done it before. I know you've done it before. You've been in a bad mood and you'll start, something will make you laugh. Something will take you out of that. And for a few moments is all that it takes to get you away from that negative feeling and on the path to a more positive feeling, unless you start bringing the negative thoughts back up. So, The way that you change or the way that you start controlling what it is that you're manifesting and that you're feeling, every last one of us has some memory in our lives that 
has given us great joy. It's made us LOL. It's made us, you know, roll on the floor laughing. It's made us happy, given us tears of joy. Every last one of us has those moments in our lives. Those moments are your magnets to better feelings. Whatever that thing is that made you so happy, however long ago it was, it does not matter. Your brain does not know the difference. It will change. And if you can start not just thinking about that thing that made you so happy, but actually feel, allow yourself to go there and feel that feeling. Allow yourself to go there and actually feel those feelings of joy. This is the secret from going from one state to the other. There is no big thing that needs to be done. It is that simple. Now, I say it's that simple, but when you're actually in the moment, this this takes some practice. It's not like I got it on day one. This takes some practice to do, to think higher thoughts, to feel better feelings. The great thing about our feelings is that Even if you're having bad feelings, you know what you don't want because you got the bad feelings. And at the same time, you know exactly what you want because, you know, when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. It's simultaneous. It's all at the same time. So when you're having the bad feelings of what you don't want, well, what is on the other side of that coin? Because on one side is the bad, but the other side is the good. So what's the good? And how can you start thinking those thoughts about the good thing that you want? Those are the things that need to occur. And bad feelings aren't, quote unquote, what I would call bad all the time because they're direct indicators for you. It's a signal to you. Don't feel bad that you feel bad. Know that when you feel bad, you're putting out vibrations on both ends. I don't want this. So I know that this is what I do want. When we focus in on what it is that is going to make us happy, that is going to raise our vibration to draw in things like itself back to us, that is where the magic happens. That is where the magic happens. It's one of the main things that I coach people and I train people on how to do when I'm talking about aligning with your purpose. I don't care what your business is, what your situation is or whatever. You can have Abundance, joy, happiness, love, all of those things. And it does not matter what the thing is that you want, you can have it. This is how I coach people. No matter what the situation is, let's have a conversation and we can actually change these vibrations. It's going to take a little time, but it is doable. And there's nothing you have to do to earn the good. I'm going to say that again. There is nothing that you have to do to earn the good. You're already worthy. You know, it's religion and politics and all these other kind of things, they've conditioned us in a way. They've conditioned us away from the source of everything. To think that we have to earn something or that we have to do something to earn the love of the source or God or the universe or whatever it is that you want to call it. Love is all that there is. Love is all that there is. Some of you are shaking your head right now because you've been conditioned to think otherwise. But I challenge you. I challenge you. The thoughts and the belief systems that you've had over the course of your life, have they served you well? And if they haven't and your belief system has been based in fear or based in anger or based in jealousy or I'm not good enough. If your belief system has caused you to have those types of feelings, there's something else that needs to be done. I'm going to take a short break right now, but we're going to come back. And I hope that conversation was impactful for you for Abraham Hicks. Make sure that you do visit the website alignwithyourpurpose.co. I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to be back. and We're going to talk about Neil Donald Walsh. Be right back after the break. Get the book Align With Your Purpose by Earl Hall. Find and walk in your purpose. Get the answers to your questions about life and how to make it exactly what you want are in this book. This is your chance to stop living in a life you hate. Discover how to manifest 
the life you actually want. Get Align With Your Purpose now on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. What if you could stop all of your negative thoughts and your self-limiting beliefs and actually start to manifest the life that you want? You need Quantum Neural Manifestation Alignment, or QNMA. This is the ultimate accumulation of the best of the secret, as well as the incredible magic of meditation and hypnosis, all wrapped up in one. Go to the website now, officialqnma.com. That's officialqnma.com. Thanks so much for keeping it locked right here on Conversations Radio Network, as well as you guys looking at me here on Instagram as well. And everyone that tunes into Conversations Radio Network, make sure that you do visit that website, conversationsradionetwork.online. You can download the app and you can listen to Conversations Radio Network 24 hours a day. Great music, great interviews, great shows, just like this one. More hosts are coming. Actually, next week, we have a whole list of brand new hosts coming. So be on the lookout for that as well. Visit the website, www.alignwithyourpurpose.co. Take advantage of everything that is there and pick up the book, Align With Your Purpose. It's in paperback, it's on Kindle, and the audio book is there as well. The people on... Um, Instagram can see me holding up the book here. Go get that on Amazon.com right now. Align with your purpose by yours truly, Earl Hall. In the first segment, we talked about Abraham Hicks. And once again, I want to encourage every one of you to go on YouTube and just type in the search function, Abraham Hicks, and really see what she and her husband, Jerry, rest his soul, um, has to offer. One of the other things, and this just came to me uh, actually the mid of last year. And I got familiar with someone called Neil Donald Walsh. And I'm going to put, when you listen to the podcast for this, I'm going to put the links to these books and all these other things into the podcast. And you can take a look at the podcast just by going to alignwithyourpurpose.co and clicking on the link that says live broadcast and podcast. And you can decide where you want to subscribe as far as how you want to consume this content that I produce Monday through Friday, 1030 a.m. Eastern, 930 Central, 730 a.m. on the West Coast. But you can see how you can consume that, however it is that you want. But subscribe to the podcast, please. Would definitely appreciate that. But Neil Donald Walsh is the author of a book called Conversations with God. Actually, there's three, four. I think there's four books. Um, <clears throat> and I have all of them. The most impactful one that I that I got was book one uh, from Neil Donald Walsh called Conversations with God. And what it's about is uh, this guy was a former priest. He was um, deep into the church, the Catholic church at the time. And it came a point in his life around, you know, age 50 or a little before age 50 where he was angry and he didn't understand. He had been following the rules. He'd been following the things that the church that, you know, politics, that life says we are supposed to be about. He's, he was angry. He had gone through homelessness. He lived on the street, had no money, no job, homeless person living on the street. And he was trying to pick himself back up. And one morning he became angry. He was just angry. Well, he'd been angry for a while. And he started having a conversation with God. And God started explaining things to him the way that they actually are, who God is, what God wants from us, what we are in relationship to him, and how it is that we're to be or he would want us to be in this world. It was a conversation with God and he wrote it out. He would Ask a question, and when you, if you go to Amazon and you get the book, it's a book that's in my store as well. Actually, my Amazon store is Amazon.com slash shop slash Earl Hall Studio. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash Earl Hall Studio. Or you can just go directly to Amazon, type in Conversations with God, and you'll see it. But he wrote out, he would ask God a question, and he would write the question, and God would come back with the answer. He'd write a question, God would come back with the answer. And... 
it was such it was such an impactful book in my life. That book was the most impactful book that I read in 2018. It was the most impactful book. Many of you don't know, and you there would probably be no way for you to know, actually, really, unless you've known me for over 30 years or 20 years, um, that I was in ministry. I started in the Christian ministry. I actually was a minister. I've been a pastor. I've been a preacher. I've been in the pulpit and things of that nature. And about a decade ago, I started asking the questions that you're not supposed to ask. I started having my own conversations with God and they were sometimes angry and they were, you know, I was, I wanted answers. I wanted to understand if this is true, then how is this true? If you said this right here, then why did you say this over here? And you, when you have over 30 years, well, actually over 40 years of my life, I'll be 50 this year, 40 years of my life were very deep into the Christian church. We're very deep. And In my book, Align With Your Purpose, I talk about that a lot because I credit everything that I got from Christianity to be where I am now. It's like it was on my path to find what is true to me. Neil Donald Walsh's book, Conversations with God, I believe is for that person that is ready to ask the questions that you're never supposed to ask. You're just supposed to believe Now, I'm not trying to convert anybody or proselytize anyone to change their belief systems, because if your belief system is working for you, it's working. But if you've got questions, there are more answers that are out there. But if we never ask the question, we never get the answer. So I want to encourage you today, go look up on YouTube, um, Abraham Hicks. You can look Neil Donald Walsh Walsh up on YouTube as well. Um, And obviously you can find books from both of them, from Abraham Hicks and Neil Donald Walsh on Amazon.com as well. I want to thank you so much for tuning in with me today and just taking part. Share this out. If this has been helpful for you, share this podcast or this broadcast out. Also, make sure you visit the website alignwithyourpurpose.co. Grab the book, Align With Your Purpose, and start your journey of discovery to the truth for you. Not what we've been programmed to do, not what we've been conditioned to do, but there's more freedom out there. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you Monday. Bye now.